Hey guys, hi YouTube. Um, happy Sunday. I definitely know I'm definitely going to bed um, because I'm groggy and I'm tired. Um, and I just thought about like what we would do to get our hair did. You know, black women, like we got to get our hair did no matter what. So uh, you, as you guys know, like I was so bored with my hair. I went through a couple weeks of just really, really, really being bored. And on top of that, my hair was acting so funny. Um, like my wigs would not blend correctly and my hair got so dry. I couldn't even put it in my bun the way I always do and just a lot of weirdness going on. So I did a weave, um, for two weeks and the weave, which the weave, you see, that's the African thing coming up. The weave was so itchy. I could not take it. Like I was scratching my head until like one part, it was like scraped because I was scratching so much in that one area. So I decided I was like, you know what? For $50, I'm taking this weave down. And I think something was up with the hair that I used or something was just not, it was different about this sewing. Um, so my hair itched so bad that I took that down. So I was like, okay, what am I going to do next? I, do, I don't know if you guys watch all the other videos that I posted, but I did say that my hair doesn't do well with braids. Like I've noticed that whenever I do braids, I kind of lose length. Um, the help not so bad, but I usually lose length and I get like an evenness on my hair. So I was like telling myself, I'm not going to do braids for like forever because I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do this again where, I, you know, I get my hair, my hair to a certain level and then I do braids and then everything goes downhill. But then I was like, okay, what am I going to do then? You know? Okay. So I went through this thing where I was obsessed with looking at pictures on Senegalese twist or Marley twist or Havana twist. I just went through that stage and I was seeing so many cute pictures on Pinterest. If you follow me, you'll see. Um, that I have so many pictures that I like that are um, a lot of Senegalese twists and um, Marley twists. And I was just in love. I was like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I want. Okay, so um, I looked online everywhere on Craigslist where I usually go. And I did find people that do braids, but I just didn't like the work. It was just looked kind of not what I wanted, you know. So I was like, man, what am I going to do? I need to find a braider because I need to have one so that anytime I need braids, I can always go to one person. But I'm not just looking for anybody. I wanted somebody who's friendly. I wanted somebody where I felt comfortable going. I didn't want to be a place where I'm just like going to different houses all the time and people are just ghetto as hell like the last person I went to. You guys know that video. So I just was like, okay. I looked and I looked and I was like, man, I'm just going to have to wait. I'm not going to do my hair then. Okay, so I typed in, this is so random, but I was just sitting on my computer looking through Facebook, and then I put braids, and then I put my the state that I live in, or the city that I live in, California. And before you know it, all these people came up. And I was like, how come I didn't know about that? So I looked in all there, and I was looking, and I didn't like the work. Some you had to add, you know, before you could see their pictures. So this one lady popped up, and one of the first things that really impressed me was I saw all the wonderful comments people put for her. Like, everybody just had nice things to say. And I was like, that, that's really good. You know, sometimes though those things can you can't rely on, but sometimes you can. So I looked, I was reading, I'm like, wow, all these good comments, you know. So um, before you know it, I emailed, I sent her a Facebook message like, oh, um, this is the style I want. How much would this be? And, um, I w you know, and she basically told me the price. And I was like, wow, that that's good, you know. So I was like impressed. I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. Um, so then later on, I kind of put it off. And then one time I just texted her, I was like sending the text and I was like nervous because I'm like, Oh gosh, what if it doesn't work out? Like it's one of those bad horror story kind of things. So I did. And she texted me back a couple of days later and she was like, yeah, I'm available, you know, but you would have to be coming here at 6am because I have another client. And I was like, Oh no, I'm not waking up at six to do my hair. But look what I did. I did wake up at 6am to do my hair, you know? And yeah. So yeah, overall, um, really, really nice lady. Um, she's actually a black lady married to an African guy. So it was kind of funny because I was like, he was looking at me, I'm looking at him. I'm like, I know you're African. And he was like, yeah, where are you from? And he's like, this and that before you know it. So I just felt comfortable when I walked in. She said, good morning. I mean, this was 6 a.m. This lady was still friendly at 6 a.m. So we talked and she's just doing my hair and basically asked me what I wanted. Um, and I'm like, this is what I want. So I'm definitely keeping her on speed dial. <laughs> you know anyway so the twist okay I got um, the hair was called a makeup braid um, let's see and you can get um, there's so many different types of them Marley braid or whatever um, and they basically are the same I don't really know if some people prefer others over the other or whatever I don't know 
Um, then I used uh, eight packs. You're going to need to get eight packs because basically if you want them long, they have to tie them in a way where they can be long enough. Um, you know, so you need eight packs for hair, um, kinky twist hair, marley braid hair, Jamaica braid hair. There's so many different names for them. Um, it took about four to five hours. Uh, she charged me 125 which is really good. There was supposed to be 140 she said, but she gave me the first customer discount of 10%. So I basically ended up being 126 which is really good because I've seen some work that's like 100 uh, 300 plus or 200 plus and look like crap. And to me, this is decent and nice for 125 You know what I mean? So that's some of the benefits of sometimes going to somebody's house instead of a salon. The prices are way better. Right now, it's my scalp is not really hurting that bad because she was gentle. That's another thing that I really liked. Her hands were gentle. Um, I can, you know, pat my thing. I can move my forehead. Um, and the hair is heavy right now, but I'm sure it's going to get lighter um, a little bit once I start spraying it, you know. Um, and it feels it feels heavy a little bit, but um, because they're bigger. Um, the parting, I didn't like so much, but mm, I can deal with it. It's not the worst, you know. There's a little more, you know, a lot of squares kind of looking in the front, but that's fine. I can deal with that. I'm going to be putting it up anyway, like side thing, whatever. So overall, I like them. I really, really am happy. I'm impressed um, with it. And um, let's see. I'm definitely going to use maybe a mixture, a braid sheen mixture with uh, castor oil in it. And then just spray that maybe once a week because somebody did give... Um, one video I was watching did say, you know, try not to spray your Marley Twist too much because they're going to poof up on you. So you have to really kind of just use enough, maybe twice a week, a braid sheen spray, and then just kind of coat it with oil, um, you know, where your own hair is and just do that. And don't try not to put too much water on it because they will get kind of poofy looking. So that's what I plan to do. Um, and I hope to keep this for a month because if I say two, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to keep this for two months. I'm not going to keep this for two months. I have to tell myself that because I end up taking it before the month is over. That's how I am. I get bored and I get the itch to take things down. So anyway, yeah, so that's the hair. Um, let me see if it's back. Yeah. So overall, I like it. Um, and so if you guys have any questions, just leave me comments below. Look at my eyes. I need to go back to bed. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Bye.